Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty cool stuff to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Someone has basically taken a look at all of the previous announcements and trailers for past Pokemon games like Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon, Legends Arceus, BDSP to try and pinpoint when we might be seeing some new information for the new Generation 9 games. So quite a bit to go over today. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off before we get into this massive post, a huge shout out to F1G Ment because they are the person that basically went and did all the research. As you can see, we've got months of July, August, September. They've went out and taken a look at all of the past trailers and announcements and stuff to try and just get a better idea of when we might be seeing something new for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So again, a massive shout out to them. This will be linked in the description down below if you do want to go give them a big thank you. But anyway, they posted saying speculation on when we can expect certain bits of information via official trailers so i basically looked at the sun and moon sword and shield release cycles to see when we could expect certain pieces of information of course sun and moon and sword and shield because they were the gen 7 and gen 8 games uh, i also looked at the pokemon let's go games bdsp and legends arceus for average length between trailers and likely dates for their release the brilliant diamond shining pearl and legends arceus kind of i don't know cycle was a bit weird we had loads and loads of droughts just simply because we hadn't really had a Pokemon game in January before. So they were kind of trying to get all the trailers and stuff at the same time, which is why we literally just went months without anything for those games. So hopefully it won't be like that this time. Anyway, they say trailers were usually the first week of the month unless coinciding with some other event. I also found it interesting that Pokemon Sun and Moon revealed way more than Sword and Shield did prior to launch often doubling up on trailers while Sword and Shield stuck to one per month. This is just fun speculation, so let me know what you guys think. So in February, uh, the game reveals on Pokemon Day along with the start of Pokemon. Um, so yeah, that's what we obviously had for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on Pokemon Day, uh, which was a Sunday, which again, we never get trailers for or like Pokemon Presents for or anything like that. Uh, we did get the announcement of Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and uh, Quoxley, and of course, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. And then March to May, which is obviously what we're in right now, for whatever reason, March and April are always silent. So potentially we might not be getting any news until May time, which isn't great. And then it goes on to say, nothing with a slight possibility in May for a legendary Pokemon reveal. So in May 2016, we had a trailer that showed off the Alolan starters because we didn't get them with the game reveal. This trailer also showed the box legendary Pokemon. We didn't get a May trailer in 20. 2019 because the starters were already revealed on Pokemon Day earlier in the year with the legendary Pokemon being saved for June. So yeah, it's unlikely we're really going to get anything for a, for a little bit. And I know that obviously Riddler, Koo and, Set and stuff said like that we're going to get something in April. Um, I don't think that's necessarily the case now. Of course it could happen. Um, but just looking at past events, like we usually only get something between March and May if the starters weren't already revealed on Pokemon Day. Um, so we might be entering a little bit of a drought, which obviously isn't the greatest situation to be in, but um, we'll have to see what happens. Of course, we still have Pokemon Legends Arceus to play. We're still going to get updates, hopefully, on, on that and, and BDSP with announcements of like the Darkrai event and stuff and Pokemon Home compatibility. So hopefully that will happen during these months, and then we hopefully get some stuff about Scarlet and Violet after May. Um, anyway, going into June, a trailer that shows off the legendary Pokemon and a possible new battle mechanic or feature. For Sun and Moon, they showed battle royales, and for Sword and Shield, they revealed Dynamax and raid battles. So this all happened for the previous generations in June, and then also a reveal of a small number of Pokemon. Some Sun and Moon revealed Grubbin, Young Goose, and Pikipek, while Sun Sword and Shield revealed Wulu, Dreadnought, Gossifleur, Eldegoss, and Corviknight. We also got the reveals of the rival and the professor. So June is quite a big month. Can expect to see some new Pokemon in June. Potentially the new battle uh, mechanic or game gimmick or whatever. And then also hopefully like a rival and a professor or something like that. So again, this game is a little bit different because it's open world. There might be like multiple rivals. There might be multiple professors. We don't know. Um, so we might get something different. Again, this isn't like 
what we're going to see this year like this isn't set in stone like it could easily change we have just had a bit of a weird um, new cycle with BDSP and Legends Arceus this is just kind of a template to kind of go off because of what they've done in previous years so yeah we got that in June and then July obviously this is where the news really starts coming out because obviously the games are most likely going to come out in November um, so yeah we kind of expect to see news like every month so obviously that's what we did see in June for previous games in July we saw the official reveal of a lot of new Pokemon so Sun and Moon gave us Tapu Koko, Charger Bug, Vika Volt, Drampa, Bruxish, Cuter Fly and Togodomaru were a Sword and Shield gave us our creamy yamper roly coli and duraludon we will likely have a full reveal of the new battle gimmick whatever that symbol is or the japanese logos has to do with and then also some gym leaders as well so in sun and moon the island trials were revealed and we got to see lana malo and kiawi whereas in sword and shield we got the reveal of the gym challenge being alistair and bay nessa and milo were shown off in june um so yeah again expect hopefully to see some big information in july this year as well and then of course august comes up next uh in past years we've had the most consistent month between the reveal cycles in both 2016 and 2019 august there will likely be two trailers one in the first week of the month and one during the pokemon world championships the evil team gets revealed along with a couple of reoccurring important characters so marnie bead guzma and plumeria and then regional forms are shown if there are any which are probably will be uh in august 2016 for sun and moon we got to see quite a lot alone executor alone and vulpix nine tail sandshrew sandslash meowth marowak and raichu were all shown and then for sword and shield in 2019 we were shown galarian weezing galarian zigzagoon and galarian lanoon and then also more new pokemon so it's just gonna be one of those trailers like not all these trailers are in pokemon presents so don't like expect a pokemon presents like every single month they just kind of shadow drop these trailers um and then we kind of just go crazy over them. And then in September to November, I grouped these months together because there was uh, no discernible patterns in reveals during this time period. All the other months were similar in previous years regarding what they showed off. This is where trailers became game slash feature specific. So I guess this is going to be stuff we don't know yet. So expect more Pokemon, expect more regional variants and other random stuff. So Sun and Moon revealed Ultra Beast, Species exclusive Z moves, the Aether Foundation, the Festival Plaza, Gladion, Zygarde Cell, the Poke Pelago, the return of Mega Evolution, Ash Greninja, the Battle Tree, Starter Final Evolutions, and the Poke Finder. Whereas in Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, we got the reveal of Camping, Cooking, Trainer Customization, more new Gigantamax Pokemon, Poke Jobs, new Battle Items, Mints and Candies, new Breeding Features, and we had the Glimwood Tangle Livestream. Expect to recap trailer a couple days or a week before launch. So, yeah, it was a bit weird with Sword and Shield because I don't think we got the final evolutions. Obviously, it was all leaked and stuff, but going off like um just the legit trailers and stuff i don't think we got the final evolutions and of course we didn't get the final evolutions for the hisuian starters until the game came out i know they all got leaked and stuff but again they seem to be withholding that information and i'm one of those people that kind of needs to see the starters before i pick one especially when i have no idea what they're going to evolve into because i don't want to choose the wrong starter and then the other starter look really really cool and then i'm just like ugh. God, I want that starter now. So that's why I always go out of my way to look at the starters because it is such a big decision. I don't want it to evolve. I get the other hand of it as I get the other side of it as well. It's obviously really exciting not knowing what your Pokemon's going to evolve into, but I just don't want to be really just just disappointed with my choice when the other starters would look really cool so that's why i always want to see the stars and stuff um but yeah i mean that's kind of just the news sort of cycle that we've had for past generations again this is not set in stone it's all speculation but i think it is an okay indication of when we might be seeing some news so unfortunately between march and may we might not see anything for pokemon um, scarlet and violet but as i said at the start of the video that might be when we get more um events for bdsp um maybe legends arceus home compatibility and stuff like that you know that's when they could fit all that in and then once all that's done those games are kind of finished and then they can start revealing more stuff about pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet so again a massive 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 shout out to f1 g men also wanted to go over this as well uh by matthew wild they tweeted this at me and i thought it was pretty legit to be fair um so they said i already know the release date for hashtag pokemon scarlet and violet it's going to be november the 18th 2022 because that's the friday before black friday and plus that's the day before thanksgiving gets here on november the 24th 2022 2022 so will release will be november the 18th 
Uh, they also said, plus Pokemon Company slash Game Freak always release a game that Friday, a week before Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So potentially it could be on the 18th of November. It seems like a decent date to me. I know on the website and stuff it says like winter 2022, but they said that for Pokemon Sword and Shield as well, and we all know that released in November. So when they say winter, I think it just means like the end of the year. So potentially we could be seeing the game release on November the 18th. I think it's a good a shout as any. It's always on a Friday. And again, they've obviously made the, the connections between the fact that it's like before Black Friday and Thanksgiving and stuff. So yeah, that is basically everything for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this got you, I guess, a little bit excited maybe. Well, I mean, not for the next couple of months because we can't really expect to see anything. But I mean, you never know. They might do something completely different this year. This is just going off past things and everything. But either way, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Uh, leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Or ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. It's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.